guys, my name is Cameron and welcome back to my channel, Which Way to Wicked, where we talk about all things love, light, and especially tarot. So today we are going to be having such a fabulous 18 and up reading as we find out what would your person, the person on your mind do if they got their hands on you. Okay, so if you guys were alone in a room, if it was just the two of you, if they got their hands on you, what sexy things would go down from there? So let's go ahead and take a look at your group picks. So for group number one, we have the Vamps and the City rom-com book coming through. For group number two, we have Undead and Unwed. And then last but not least, for group number three, we have How to Marry a Millionaire Vampire. So guys, I want you to go ahead and take a very big deep breath in. And now I want you to let it out. And now I want you to please close your eyes. And as you close your eyes, I want you to think about the person who is on your mind. And then I want you to think about what they would do to you if they got their hands on you. Okay, now whenever you feel ready, please open your eyes and whichever book your eyes lands on first, then that, my dear, is going to be the reading for you today. Now, if you feel called to more than one rom-com here, then definitely feel free to check out those extra messages as well. And as always, I will have the timestamps listed down in the description box below. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into your reading today, friends. Hello, group one. So, if you chose the Vamps and the City book today, then hey, hello, my sexy little butterflies, or shall I say little bats, <laughs> like we see right here. Um, hey, hello, welcome to your reading today. I'm going to go ahead and place this off to the side like so, and let's go ahead and take a look at your tarot cards. So guys, we have the Ten of Swords coming through. We also have the Ten of Wands, the Three of Swords, so we've got a bit of heartbreak energy coming through. And last but not least, we have the Ace of Swords. So guys, talking about your person and what they would do to you if they got their hands on you, boo, the first thing that I'm seeing is a ton of like up and down type of vibes, okay? What I mean by that is... Whenever I was pulling for your cards earlier, I was feeling very flip-floppy. On one hand, I would feel very excited, very enthusiastic and passionate. And then on the other hand, I would get very nervous and shy and just a little scared. And honestly, I think this is representing your person's energy. It's representing their vibes, all the things that they're going to be feeling if they were to be able to get their hands on you, okay? And so what I mean by that is, honestly, I think that your person, they do care about you. I think beyond the physical level, they genuinely have some really sweet feelings for you. And... They care a lot about this first time whenever they are able to be with you. They care a lot about making it good for you. And I also think there is a little bit of 
nervousness surrounding this because they want it to be good enough for you so that maybe you would want to continue it on later on down the line because I am getting this idea that the feelings that they have for you, they're not just the type of feeling someone would feel whenever they have a one night stand. They're the type of feeling someone would have for someone who wants to continue on with this connection, who wants to maybe even try to expand and grow within this connection. So I definitely think that your person, the person on your mind, they do have quite genuine feelings for you. Now is are these the type of feelings that is going to foster a forever long type of connection? I don't know. I don't know. This is just a very general reading, but I do think that they are attracted to you and they are curious about maybe pursuing this connection and seeing what would happen if you guys start to date. Okay, so yeah, but anyways, let's go ahead and get into the actual like physical side of things. Let's talk about what's going to be going on there. So again, like I was saying, they're going to be nervous. And so I think before they even do any of the physical stuff with you, I honestly see them having a lot of word vomit and I see them just wanting to talk to you first. The reason why I'm saying that is because we do have the Ace of Swords and guys like literally I don't know if you can see this but this is showing like a journal like thing and there's a pen right there and then the guy like standing in front of it looking down and he looks like he's like in his feels really thinking and so I honestly feel like your person they have thought a lot about having this moment with you about being able to have this physical, intimate connection with you. They've thought a lot about it. They've dreamed a lot about it. And I do think that this is somebody who, again, cares about making this good for you. They want everything to be perfect. And I think that in their minds, they have come up with all these things that they want to say to you before they start getting physical with you. Like, maybe they want to tell you, like, oh, yeah, I've been thinking about doing this with you for a long time, you know, I kind of like you. Um, so those could be some of the things that they're thinking about. Or maybe they've thought about just talking to you and making sure that this is what you want before you guys continue on, okay? I just think at the end of the day, I know I keep saying this, I know I sound like a broken record, they just want to make sure that everything is good for you. They don't want to rush into anything and have you regret what you guys do and what happens while you guys are together. So I do think before they even start trying to do anything physical with you, they are going to tell you like, hey, this is completely up to you. I don't want to do anything that you're not comfortable with and the ball is completely in your court, okay? And I think that is really sweet. So, yeah, going back to that journal type of thing, I honestly feel like maybe your person, if they are into journaling, I feel like they have journaled about having this moment with you, about being able to be with you for the first time, about being able to get their hands on you. Um, maybe they have even written you some love letters in the past, even though they had no intentions of giving you that love letter. Maybe that's just a thing that they do to meditate and to help clear their mind. Or maybe they did write you some love letters and they wanted to give those to you, but they were scared. Because at the end of the day, this person who you are asking about, I do think that you have known them for quite some time. I feel like this is somebody who has either been your friend or who has just been in your life. Maybe they've been a work partner of yours or a friend of the family's for a very long time. And I just think at the end of the day, seeing the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords coming through, you know, that talks about... The, the, the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords, that is the last cards in the Wands um, in the wands pile and also in the swords pile. Does that make sense? <laughs> Hopefully that makes sense because we have the ace of wands, then the, uh, two of wands, the three of wands, the four of wands, and then slowly but surely we get to the ten of wands. And then after the ten of wands, we have the court cards. We have the knight of wands, the page of wands, all that. So this is the last, the last card 
of the wands. This is the last card of the swords before we get into the court cards, okay? You get what I'm saying? And so if you were to see those cards as a journey, the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords talks about the end of of a journey and so at the end of the day I think this is somebody who you have known for a very long time and I think that these feelings you guys feel for each other I think that the attraction you guys feel for each other has been mutual for quite a long time this has been a long thing coming and so if they were to get their hands on you they just want to make sure everything is right for you they want to make sure everything goes well and they want to just tell you their peace I really think that they have a big old monologue planned that they want to say to you. And once they get that out, though, that is whenever things are going to start pushing forward. Things are going to start moving along, and that is whenever things are going to get quite physical indeed. So, yeah, whenever they first see you, they're going to say some stuff to you, and I think that that is going to represent, like, I, I think as they were saying those things, they're going to slowly but surely, you know, get that nervousness out of their system they're going to slowly but surely start to feel more confident as you say like hey no like i'm into this i'm into you i want to do this and then that is going to give them everything they need going forward that is going to give them the confidence that they need to pursue you and to you know just get started with you okay and i feel like once the ball starts getting rolling right once it starts rolling they are really going to take off and they're going to be very, very, very passionate. And the first thing I have to say to you guys is we literally have the Ten of Wands coming through. And what really caught my eye is the fact that this person here is wearing a crown. And what also caught my eye is the fact that we have two tens coming through here, right? The Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords. Now, I felt like this crown was very symbolic to me because with these two tens coming through, this makes me think about the life path number 10. So maybe by chance your person who you're thinking about, they could have a life path number 10, or maybe you are a life path number 10, excuse me. But what's so interesting to me is the fact that whenever I think of the life path number 10 in numerology, this talks about somebody who is a leader. This talks about somebody who likes to be in charge, who likes to take charge. And so with this crown coming through, I really think this is representing your person's energy. Once they start to get physical with you, this is going to be somebody who is very sassy. This is going to be somebody who likes to be the boss. And I definitely think that I'm getting some Dom energy coming through they are totally going to take over and they are going to just be very dominant in the bedroom they're going to tell you exactly what they want you to do they're going to tell you exactly um how they want you to lay like on the bed or whatever right like they're going to say like hey I want you to do this I want you to do that now look at me whenever I'm doing this to you right they're, they they are going to be just a really really big dom okay they're going to be very very dominant I'm getting like Christian Grey from Fifty Shades of Grey type of energy okay they like to be in charge and that is definitely something that you should think about before getting into this connection with them make sure you're okay with that but again like i said they are going to communicate with you very well i really think that along the way they're going to tell you like hey i want you to do this but at the same time they're gonna be like hey are you sure you want to do this <laughs> it's kind of cute it's kind of representing that like flip floppy type of energy right like i feel like on one hand they're gonna take freaking charge but then they're gonna backtrack a little bit just to make sure that you're okay with them taking charge okay so honestly guys now that I'm like processing this message I'm kind of thinking maybe at the very beginning before they even get into this with you before they start doing this with you they might tell you how they like to be in charge how they like to be quite dominant that might be part of their monologue that they've prepared beforehand with you and so yeah I definitely think that but they just want to make sure that everything is out there, that you know how dominant they are. They want to make sure you're okay with that. And I think that that's really sweet. And again, they're going to be just taking charge in the bedroom, but they will still ask you if what they're doing is okay. And if you like that, if you approve of that, okay. But yeah, they're definitely going to be quite sassy, okay. They're going to be quite sassy. And I'm also seeing that I, th I think that they have so many fantasies 
they fantasize about this moment so much that they're going to have so many different things that they want to do with you. This isn't just going to be like a one-time thing. Like I think if they were to get their hands on you, they would spend that whole night, like however many hours that is, um, eight to 10 to 12 hours, just being with you, doing so many things with you. I feel like in between y'all's uh, um, intimate sexathon, maybe they will give you an energy drink or you guys will stop and drink some coffee, chuck it down, right? And then, you know, back to the bedroom you go to do y'all's crazy things, okay? Yeah, they are just going to be a fiend. They're going to have so much energy. They are definitely not going to want to stop at all, just, just, just for breaks, okay? They'll only stop for breaks and then that's it y'all are going back in okay and I honestly think you're gonna be very ex exhausted by the end of this you your body may feel kind of numb the next day but it may but I feel like it will be the good type of numb okay you're gonna be like yeah my body was used but I was here for it and I loved using it especially with this person so yeah that's really cool to see now I'm also seeing here with the 10 of swords you see how like these swords are like twisted up okay this is making me think about how they are going to want to twist you up if that makes any sense like I really think that they are gonna have a ton of sexy positions that they want to do with you they might even carry around like a pocketbook Kama Sutra. The reason why I'm saying that is because again, we have the um, we have the book back here. It's making me think of the Kama Sutra book. But I think that this person, again, like I've been saying, they have fantasized about this for so long. They have so many things they want to do with you, and I think that they have a lot of positions that they want to try from the Karma Sutra book with you. And I think some of those positions require some flexibility. So in their mind, I definitely think they've imagined like pulling your leg up and getting you to do like the splits or something like that. Something that involves quite a bit of, fle of flexibility, right? They're definitely going to uh, see if they can do that with you and they're going to want to try it out with you, okay? Um, so yeah, I'm seeing a bit of like flexibility coming through here. So if you really want to be with this person, if you think that you guys have a chance at coming together, then definitely start like stretching, you know, <laughs> maybe take a yoga class here or there. Uh, but yeah, definitely, definitely stretch because this person, they have a lot of positions they want to try out with you. They're not just going to want to do the missionary reverse cowgirl type of thing like no they are going to want to do some crazy acrobatic moves with you um and I definitely think you'll enjoy it okay <laughs> you'll probably enjoy it so long as you're flexible that's why I'm telling you right now I advise you right now start practicing your flexibility okay but yeah you guys at the end of the day I just think that this person like I said they're going to be nervous with you but they're going to be very nervous at first, but once they really connect with you, once they talk to you and they make sure everything is okay continuously throughout the night, they're just going to take your hand and they're going to jump right into this night of pleasure, right into this night of intimacy and eroticism, and they're just going to go completely all in and you guys are going to do so many incredible things the reason why I'm saying that is because right here I don't know if you can see this but this couple is literally holding hands and jumping off of a cliff here and yeah I think this is representing y'all y'all are just going to dive head first into this night of eroticism and it it is going to be amazing it's going to be amazing you guys are definitely going to have a lot of passion a lot of fire between you that's what i'm seeing here with this woman being like ablaze in flames and it's going to be hot it's going to be hot but again you guys are still going to have really great communication throughout the whole night you guys are still going to talk to each other and i really feel like throughout the whole night your person the person on your mind if they were to get their hands on you they would always have this great communication with with you they would always check to make sure you're happy with what they're doing they would always check to make sure that they are making you feel good as well and I just think that that is really gonna open up this sexual 
a night to just being even more greater, right? Because at the end of the day, they're going to listen to what you want and they will do what you want to do. So long as you tell them like, hey, I don't feel comfortable with this. I want to do something else. I want to do this. I want to do that. They will listen to you. Okay. Don't get me wrong. They still want to be the boss, but this is the type of boss who will listen to what you have to say, listen to your critiques and take it in stride. So yeah, you guys, that is what I'm seeing for you today. Let's go ahead and take a look at your oracle cards, okay? So Spirit, can we get some messages, please? Some further messages. What will Group 1's person do to them if they were to get their hands on them, Spirit? Can we get some messages, please? Ooh, that is sweet. Okay, let's see what else wants to come through. Spirit for group one, can we get some extra messages, please? Oh, that's really sweet. Okay, let's get one more card. One more card. By the way, you guys, I want to say thank you so much for stopping by this reading. If you do like this type of reading, this 18 plus reading, then please make sure to maybe like and subscribe to my channel because I love doing these types of readings as well. Um, I don't do them all the time, but I definitely like to do them like at least one every other couple months or so. I just find it to be so much fun. <laughs> so yeah, if you like this type of readings, maybe subscribe to my channel because I swear I do these every once in a while. <laughs> I do these as much as I can. So anyways, you guys, let's talk about these cards, shall we? Um, so we have the charm of the simplicity coming through. We also have you deserve love and we have peace. I honestly think that this peace card is really beautiful and I think it goes really well with the charm of simplicity. So like I said, you guys, I think that your person is going to be like a sexy sexual fiend. I think that they are going to want to go all night with you. They're going to want to do so many intimate things with you, but by the very, very, very end of the evening, like whenever it's about to be dawn and the sun is starting to rise, I see them just finally being so relaxed and so worn out. And I see you guys just kind of relaxing and having a bit of pillow talk, laying around in bed or maybe even outside because they are literally out by a tree. Hopefully you have a covered patio or uh, you have some really nice like fences that people can't really, your neighbors can't really see through. But yeah, I see, I see you guys just really relaxing and re being relaxed and laying down together, talking about what you guys did, talking about just other things. And I see you guys just like being in the full on nude and just being confident and relaxed and comfortable around each other. And I just think with the peace coming through your person and you as well, you guys are going to be feeling so at peace. Because again, like I was saying, this was a long thing coming. I think that it took a long time for you guys to finally get to this moment, to finally be intimate with each other. And I think that you have known each other for a really long time. So you guys have wanted to do this with each other for so freaking long. And so for you so for you guys to finally do it with each other, like it's just going to be like so amazing and you guys are finally just going to feel like at peace. You guys are finally just going to feel good, okay? You guys aren't going to have that like tension anymore, that combustible tension because you guys finally like caved into it and you were able to release it and have a good time with each other and I think that's really, really beautiful. And at the end of the day, we have you deserve love coming through and it says you are lovable and I really think this is talking about your person. Again, your person genuinely cares about you, group one. They genuinely feel like you deserve love. You deserve it all. You deserve the best and I think that is why this person is so big about their communication. That is why they're so big about talking to you, about making sure everything is good for you because they don't want to hurt you. They don't want to have any regrets. They don't want to cause you any type of heartbreak here with the Three of Swords. They just don't want you to regret what you guys did together. And they want you to be happy. They want you to feel good. You, they care about you. They don't want to hurt you. And I definitely think that that is definitely what's coming through here. So yeah, you guys, at the end of the day, 
that is what I'm seeing for you. I hope that you have enjoyed this reading, and if you did, then please make sure to give me a big like and to subscribe to my channel because I post new videos every Monday and every Friday, and I would love to have you stop by the side of TerraTube again sometime, okay? So I love you all so much, and I hope that you have a fabulous rest of your day, friends. Mwah. Bye, guys. Hello, group two. So you chose the book Undead and Unwed today. Then, hey, hello, my gorgeous little butterflies. And thank you for fluttering on to this reading today. So, guys, I'm going to go ahead and just place this off to the side like so. So, and let's take a look at your tarot cards today. So, first of all, you guys, we have the Emperor card coming through, and this does represent that Aries energy. So, the person on your mind could be an Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, or in Venus. We also have the Four of Wands making an appearance. We have the Six of Wands. And last but not least, we have the Queen of Swords. And I really feel like this is representing your energy within this connection. And so you could definitely be an air sign, sun, moon, rising, or in Venus. But definitely just take it as it resonates. Again, this is a very general reading. So some of it may resonate with you, but... For the stuff that doesn't, just let it go, let it flow, it's okay. I'm reading for a ton of different people today. But anyways, you guys, let's talk about these messages, shall we? So the question today is, what would your person, the person on your mind, do to you if they were to get their hands on you, okay? So first of all, with the Emperor card, coming through this makes me think about somebody who is either older or just more experienced so I don't know if the person on your mind is a little bit older maybe they're in their late 20s 30s 40s so on but if they are not I just think at the end of the day this is somebody who is very experienced this is somebody who even if they are on the younger side, they act very mature and they have been with a few different people and they know their way around the bedroom. Okay, so at the end of the day, if your person on your mind were to get their hands on you, I definitely feel like the night that you share with them would be absolutely incredible because this person is going to know exactly what to do. They're going to know exactly how to work your body like a freaking violin and they're going to make you sing, girl. They're, or excuse me, boy, girl, boy, they, them, okay, what have you. They're going to make you feel good, okay, and you're going to love it. You're going to be here for it, okay, and also, it is worth mentioning here, you guys, with the emperor coming through, the emperor, this talks about somebody who is a leader, right? I mean, they're literally the emperor of a kingdom, okay, and the emperor, they care so much about their kingdom, okay? They love their kingdom so much they would give their life for their kingdom. And they just want to make sure that that kingdom is filled with happy people. It's filled with wealth, with, with prosperity, with riches. They want to make sure that kingdom thrives. And so what I'm getting here is if they were to be in a connection with you, if they were to get their hands on you, they would be the type of person who sees themselves as wanting to be like the leader of this like intimate connection and they would see you as being like their so-called kingdom okay and so I do think at the end of the day if they were to get physical with you they would want to take the lead they would want to be the one that is in control of what's happening they would want to be the one that tells you like hey I want to do it like this I want to do it like that you want to try this thing out they just want to feel like they are in control of things they might be a bit of a control freak I'm not gonna lie but at the end of the day 
they are still going to care about you so much because again you're their kingdom okay you're the kingdom like you are like for, for that moment whenever they are with you in that moment in time you are going to be their world you're going to be their kingdom they will give it all for you and make sure that you are happy that you're filled with so much excitement and so much happiness and prosperity okay so yeah they're going to treat you good they're going to treat you good, okay? And I definitely think that you are going to carry into that illusion and allow them to think that they are the ones in charge. Now, the reasons why I say you're going to allow them to think that they're in charge, you're going to allow them to carry on that illusion is because, honestly, I think that at the end of the day, you're going to make them feel like they are in charge, but you're going to be the one that's in charge of this whole thing, okay? The reason why I'm saying that is because we literally have the Queen of Swords, and like I said, I felt like this was representing you, your energy. And the Queen of Swords, this is, just like it says, a freaking queen. This is somebody who is in control, okay? And this just makes me think about the masculine and the feminine. I do feel like your person is going to be more masculine and you're going to be somebody who is more feminine. Now that doesn't mean that you have to be a woman to be more feminine and that the person who is on your mind has to be a man to be masculine. This is just representing energy. And energy energy is neutral, okay? With me, I can have masculine um, traits, but I can also have fem feminine traits. And so I just think at the end of the day, the traits that you have, you, you have a bit more feminine traits. Your person has a bit more masculine traits, okay? Now, as I am was trying to say, I whenever I think of masculine and feminine energy, the feminine type of energy is very soft, okay? They are the type of people who, uh, th this is the type of energy that persuades people. They don't, it, it doesn't try to force people into doing anything. It doesn't try to exert its power over that masculine energy. No, it persuades. It gently pushes and sways, okay? And so I think that you are going to make this person, your person, feel like they are in charge with the whole thing. But at the end of the day, you are gently going to be like pushing them and nudging them and swaying them into doing this thing with you, into doing that. And so at the end of the day, you're going to be the one that's in complete power and control over what's going on. You're just going to allow them to believe that they are actually the top dog, okay? <laughs> this is honestly making me think of the New Girl episode. Um, it was like, the, it was on the first season. I believe it was the second episode whenever Schmidt was trying to say that he was the top dog and he was trying to have like the top dog room, but then the other guy, I can't remember his name. He was the guy that came from, uh, he was a basketball player and he came from that like other country or whatever. He came in and he took the top dog room by making Schmidt think that the top dog doesn't have to have the top dog room. In fact, you're more of a top dog if you take the other room. <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> but yeah, so he basically got him to do everything he wanted him to do, but he made him think that he was in charge of that, that he made that decision. So yeah, that is like the energy that I'm getting here. I'm sorry, guys, I'm going on such a long tangent talking about you being in charge. Um, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, let's continue on and talk about some of the things that you guys are going to be doing. Okay, let's talk about these sexual things you guys are going to be getting up to. Okay, so first of all, you guys, your person, with them having that Aries type of energy, the Aries people are the type of folks who are, who have just like endless enthusiasm. These are the type of people who have so much adrenaline. They don't want to stop. They just want to keep going and going and going. And so I do think that this person, they are not just going to stop at betting you one time. Like, no, they are not going to be satisfied with that. They're going to want to do so many other things with you. They're going to want to go around the sexual uh, side of things with you so many freaking times. Okay. They're going to want to do so many different things with you. And I really think that 
they are going to bring you so many happy endings. Like, you are at least going to have four happy endings, okay? And the reason why I'm saying that is because right here, you can see that there is like a clock back there. And again, that's making me think about how they're going to want to go all night with you. They're not going to want to stop, okay? Um, and then right here, we have four different women that, uh, like, they're the same woman, but they're like jumping up four different times. And it's just making me think of the pleasure that you feel when you have a happy ending, right? You are just feeling like you're jumping up. Does that, hopefully that makes sense. But yeah, I mean, I feel like they are at least going to give you four different happy endings, if not more. Okay, um, they, again, are just very experienced. They know how to make you feel good. They know how to just really work you so freaking well. You're really going to enjoy your time with them. Now, we also have the Six of Wands coming through, and it really looks like this girl right here, this woman, is, like, very athletic. I mean, she's literally, like, jumping. She looks so elegant. She's jumping, and she has this, like, rod that she's carrying, like, on her back, and that rod does not look like it is light it looks quite heavy and so at the end of the day I am getting this idea that your person I really think that they're not going to be happy with just being in the bed with you this isn't going to be somebody that wants to have the traditional like missionary thing on the bed like no they are going to want to get creative they're going to want to do more things with you again this person has a lot of energy they have that Aries type of excitement type of enthusiasm they're going to want to get very physical with you very athletic with you and I see them wanting to pick you up and and like th throw you against the wall. I see them just wanting to do these like really big feats of athleticism with you. I see them like picking you up and holding you for a really long time as you guys go at it. And I really see you being surprised like wow like how is this person picking me up. Now guys obviously if you are a man and you are watching this, and you are thinking about a woman, it might be hard for a woman to pick you up, okay? It might be hard to do that. So, if that is not physically possible, if the woman on your mind cannot pick you up, then I see them wanting you to pick them up and do those things with them. Or, I even see them maybe wanting to have like a sexy swing, a sex swing. Um, <laughs> I don't know if they have their own sex swing like at their house or what, but I definitely see that being a probability. Or maybe, um, <laughs> honestly, they might want to go to like a playground. I'm just, I'm literally getting this right now. I think Spirit is telling me this right now, but... I see them maybe wanting to go to a playground and do some sexy things with you on a swing. Like, I, I don't know. I just see you, like, being in the air. Okay, I see you being in the air. And when I think about somebody being in the air, one of the only ways to get in the air and to have that type of momentum is to be, like, swinging. So, yeah, I'm definitely getting, like, a sex swing or just, like, a swing at a playground, like, coming through in my mind here. So yeah, that could be a possibility for some of you guys. So yeah, if they were to get their hands on you, they may want to take you to a playground and have their dirty, dirty way with you, okay? <laughs> so yeah, you guys, at the end of the day, though, with the Queen of Swords coming through, this is the card of communication. And so I do think that you guys are going to have really, really great communication throughout the whole night. I see this person checking in with you, making sure that you like what they are doing to you. I also see them like asking you, hey, do you like this? Does this feel good to you? Do you need me to do anything differently so yeah because of the fact that they are going to be so open with you they're going to have such excellent communication that is really going to open the door for you guys to having such an excellent excellent first second third fourth fifth sixth seventh time together so yeah you guys that is what i'm seeing for you so far Let's go ahead and take a look at your tarot cards. Oh, and by the way, I do think that most of the times that they are with you, it's not going to be like slow and um, like, like it's not going to be something that's slow as you guys take y'all's time, like really worshiping each other's bodies. Like, no, 
this person with that Aries energy. This is somebody who likes it rough. They like it fast. And so I do see you guys being like animals throughout that whole night. I see you guys being very animalistic, wanting it very rough and fast. So yeah, that's not to say that you guys won't have like a slower moment that you guys won't slow down. But I think that for most of it, like nine times out of 10, or maybe three times out of four of those happy endings, it's going to be fast furious and rough but again you may have one like slow slow down fun thing okay so let's go ahead and talk about these other cards let's see what wants to come through here spirit can we get some extra messages please can we get some extra messages please spirit Oh, okay. We have two cards coming through. Beautiful. Alrighty. Okay. This is honestly giving me a very clear message. So let's talk about these cards. First of all, we have the lady who waits. We also have keep an open mind, retreat, and adaptation. So guys, first of all, I definitely think that what you do with this person, if they were to get their hands on you, is going to be different from what you usually find yourself doing intimately with others, okay? You may be somebody who likes it very slow, soft, gentle. Maybe you are somebody who doesn't like being like the submissive. You don't like letting somebody even think that they have control over you. You might be the one that likes to always be in control. You like to let people know that you're in control. There are so many different messages coming through. But at the end of the day, what I'm trying to say is that this person with keep an open mind coming through, I think when it comes to the more intimate side of things, they are going to be into different things than you. The things that they like to do, it's not going to be something that you find yourself doing on a regular basis. So this is going to be completely new to you, new territory, and it's going to cause you to have to have an open mind and it's going to cause you to have to adapt to this person and to the things that they are interested in. Maybe they might have some fetishes. Fet fetishes shit. How, how do you say? fetish fetish fetish? I don't know how to say it with an with an es with it, but whatever. They might have a fetish that is not something that you're usually into, right? Like maybe they really like feet, okay? That might be their thing. And you're not someone who is usually into the feet type of stuff, but because you like this person, you might find yourself adapting and you know, letting them mess with your feet a bit. Or maybe you're not into like that sex swing. Maybe you don't like to go out in public and have PDA or like sneak around on a swing, right? Maybe that's not your thing. Or maybe you don't like to get picked up or something like that. Maybe you don't like to be picked up. I've, I've met some people that don't like those type of things, okay? They don't like to be carried or anything like that. But yeah, anyways, at the, at the end of the day, if your person were to get their hands on you, you would really be in, you, you, you'd really be in for a night that is unlike any other night that you've ever spent with anyone. This is just going to be different. It's going to be different. It's going to, you're going to be doing things that you've never really done before, but honestly, you might find yourself liking those things as you are with this person. I mean, I definitely see you having a lot of happy endings. So you could be having a lot of happy surprises along the way as you are with this person. Now we also have retreat coming through. So yeah, I think for the most part, you guys are going to be on your own. You guys are, if, if your person were to get their hands on you, they would definitely like escort you and you guys would go to like a hotel room or go to somebody's, to one of y'all's houses, one of y'all's apartments or something. I see you guys getting that alone time together but again for some of you guys okay I'm sorry you guys my eye might look like it's watering a bit I had to pause this reading for a second because I started to cough like so much and I had to get a cough drop I am having like I, I am battling a little bit of a cold right now so yeah I'm sorry about that but anyways what I was saying like I do think that you guys like for the most part, you guys are going to be on y'all's own. But again, for one or two or three of you guys, you may find yourselves going to like a public place, like to a playground and having fun there. Okay, just keep that in mind. Now that won't be for everyone. Again, this is a very general reading. So 
for most of you guys, I see y'all being on y'all's own, but for like one or two, I see y'all guys maybe, you know, having some fun out in front of everyone, okay? Um, but when I say out in front of everyone, I mean like y'all trying to be sneaky out in front of everyone, right? You're going to try to hide it, but y'all are going to be doing those things. Now, anyways, the last card that I'm seeing here is the lady who waits, and I think that this is talking about how either you or your person has been wanting to have this connection with you for a very long time, or maybe this could be representing both of you guys. Um, I think that you guys have been waiting to be able to come together and to experience this. And so if your person were to get their hands on you, I definitely think that either you or your person or both of you guys are just going to feel so happy and just feel so relieved because this is going to be something that you guys have thought about and dreamed about for so long. And so for you guys to finally come together, you're just going to be feeling like you're finally off of that wait list, right? And you're finally able to have fun and do what you've always wanted to do. So yeah, you guys, that is what I'm seeing for you today. I hope that you have enjoyed this reading. And if you did, then please make sure to give me a big like and to subscribe to my channel because I post new videos every Monday and every Friday. And I would love to have you stop by this side of Terror Tube again sometime, okay? So I love you all so much. And I hope that you have a fabulous rest of your day, friends. Mwah. Bye, guys. Hello, group three. So if you chose how to marry a millionaire vampire today, then hey, hello, my gorgeous little butterflies, and thank you for bluttering onto this reading. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and just place this off to the side, and let's take a look at your tarot cards. So... The first card that you guys received today was the Justice, and this does talk about that gorgeous Libra energy. So your person could be a Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, or in Venus, or this could also be representing your energy because, again, this is a very general reading, so you could be one of those signs as well. We have the Sun card coming through, which does talk about Leo energy. We have the Eight of Cups. And last but not least, we have the Strength card coming through. Now, the Strength card does also talk about our lovely Sagittarius folks. So, again, your person or you could be a Libra, a Leo, or even a Sagittarius, okay? Now, talking about these messages today, we are asking the question, what would the person on your mind do to you physically if they were to get their hands on you, okay? Now, if they were to get their hands on you, I definitely think the one thing that I'm seeing so far that is so clear to me is the fact that they are going to surprise you so much. Now, the reason why I'm saying that is because with the Sun card coming through, the Sun card traditionally depicts a child, right? This talks about somebody who has like a childlike type of attitude. It makes me think about somebody who's very bright, sunny, sweet, and for us to get the strength card here as well, you can see that there's a child right here who looks sweet, but at, at, at the same time they look fierce and they are next to this huge lion. And so you can tell that this child, even though they're a child, they are so fierce and so incredibly strong. And so at the end of the day, I'm getting this idea that your person... I think that to the whole world and even to you, they seem like somebody who is very childlike. They seem like somebody who's very positive, positive, very bubbly, right? And what's so interesting is that even though they seem like somebody who is childlike in the streets, in the sheets, they are not like that at all. Like their claws come out and all of a sudden they become this like, really like experienced Don Juan, okay? They become like a sexual fiend, okay? So at the end of the day, I think if your person were to get their hands on you, you would just be so flabbergasted, so surprised, and maybe even a bit shocked by the things that they have in store for you and by the transformation that they go through with their personality, with the way that they act. Because you are just never going to expect them to be this type of sexual fiend. And yet, 
whenever you find this out about them, you may be shocked at first, but I do think after a while, you're going to be really into it. You're really going to like it, and it is going to be a very pleasant surprise. Now, talking about what you guys are going to be doing together. Now, first of all, what I find to be very beautiful here is the fact that we have the justice card coming through. This makes me think about balance. This makes me think about weighing the scales and having that give and take type of energy. And so I do think that you guys, you guys are going to have that give and take type of connection when it comes to the physical th side of things. I think on one hand, in one moment, your person, the person on your mind is going to be the one in charge. They're gonna be the head honcho telling you what they want you to do to them, telling them what they want you to do. And then on the other hand, in the next breath, you will be the one in charge. You will be telling them what you want them to do to you, okay? And so I see you guys just having that give and take of power and it's really going to cause you guys to be able to explore yourselves and to both be able to have a chance to do what you guys want to do and to really just have a chance to just have fun and do everything that you ever imagined doing with each other so that's really really awesome to see that's really great and going off of that we have the Eight of Cups coming through. In the Eight of Cups, this talks about walking away. This talks about physically going somewhere else. And so for us to get this in a um, intimate reading and an erotic reading, this is giving me the idea that your person, if they were to get their hands on you, they would not just want to be in one place the whole night, right? This is not going to be somebody who just wants to be in the bed and have fun in the bedroom. Like, no, I see them being someone that likes to shake things up a up a bit, right? Again, this is somebody who is a bit of a sexual fiend. This is somebody who is not childlike in every single way that you thought they were, right? When it comes to the bedroom, they like to mix things up a bit. They like to be a bit wild, be a bit crazy. And I do think that that wildness, that craziness is represented in the way that they don't just like to be in the bedroom. They like to go out and explore and have fun. And so what I mean by that is I see them maybe being in the bedroom with you for a while. And then I see them wanting to go to the kitchen and have fun there, like put you on the kitchen counter or put you on top of the stove and do some crazy things there, right? <laughs> um, and then I see them maybe wanting to go out for a drive and go drive out to a lookout point and then have some wild fiendish times with you there. I see them maybe wanting to go to a restaurant and try to take take you to like the bathroom to do stuff there as well because I'm not gonna lie you guys I am getting a bit of like a PDA type of thing going on I think that your person they find it to be very fun and very exciting to try to sneak around in public and so I do see them maybe wanting to try to try things with you in a public place and maybe they'll want to again go to a restaurant go to a bathroom in the restaurant maybe they'll want to take you to a theater and try to get away with having some um, erotic times with you in the corner of that dark room while there while there are like so many people sitting in the seats around y'all um, yeah I just see them being a bit crazy I see them being a bit wild I see you not expecting that side to them at all, but you're going to be here for it. You're Even though it's going to surprise you at first, you're really going to like it. And at the end of the day, you guys are just going to have such a fun, fun time together. And I honestly see you guys not taking this so serious, okay? I see you guys just having fun and laughing and being playful. The reason why I'm saying that is because we have the sun card coming through and the sun does talk about warmth. It talks about laughter and love and excitement. And so at the end of the day, I see you guys just loving being together. I see you guys loving being able to be physical. And I see you guys making jokes and not just trying to be so serious as you guys make love right like no you guys are going to be like animals you guys are going to have fun you guys are going to be wild and you you guys are going to be making jokes along the way and laughing at each other and laughing at yourselves and i see that just all in all just being such an amazing experience for you if you guys were to if your person were to get their hands on you i just see you having the night of your dreams and having a night of laughter of excitement of wildness of mischievousness of fun of adventure and 
I'm just so excited for you guys. Like, I hope you guys get to experience this with your person on your mind because I do think that it would be a night that you would never forget. And I love that. I love that for you guys. So, yeah, that's what I'm seeing so far. Let's go ahead and take a look at your oracle cards. Oops, <laughs> I almost dropped like half the oracle card deck. But let's take a look at these messages, Spirit. Can we get some messages, please, for group three? What would group three's person do to them if they were to get their hands on them? Wow, that is gorgeous. We literally have full intimacy coming through. So literally nothing is going to be off the table with you guys. I think if they were to get their hands on you, they would want to explore every single part of your body. They are going to want to just have it all. They're going to want to have you completely mind, body, and spirit for that night that they are with you. And I just see you guys really exploring each other, really feeling every part of each other's bodies. And yeah, no part is going to be left untouched. And I think that that is very lovely to see. Literally, guys, what was I saying with that laughter card, with the sun card? We literally have playfulness coming through. And it says, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So yeah, you guys, what was I saying? Again, your person does have that childlike energy to them. And even though they don't act like a child in the bedroom, they still, like that, that is still part of them, right? They have a childlike youthful type of energy. Okay, they may be able to be a Don Juan and be able to be a crazy freak in the bedroom. But at the end of the day, they still have a very youthful energy to them. And I think that that is going to cause them to be able to be someone that, again, doesn't take this connection so so seriously. They don't take this like physical act, this intimate act to be so serious. They are just fun and they like to have fun and you guys are going to have fun together. You guys are going to be laughing. You guys are going to be very playful and it's just going to be very lighthearted. And I think that you're going to enjoy that side to them. I think that they're going to make you really feel just so good and so at ease. They're not going to put a lot of pressure on you. And I think that that is just going to cause you to be able to have so much more fun and to be able to let loose and have a good time. So yeah, we have Lost coming through and it says the woods. And we also have doors opening. So yeah, I honestly think with the Lost card coming through, this is talking about how again, your person is an adventurer. They like to go on adventures. They don't like to just be in the bedroom. So they might even like take you guys out to a field and you guys might like get lost in the woods and have some fun times there or maybe they're just gonna go and drive in the vehicle and they're just not gonna have any actual location in mind they're, they're just gonna drive around and get lost and then uh, stop at some place down the road or like on the side of the street and that's gonna be when you guys like have some wild times together in the car right I just see them being very spontaneous if they were to get their hands on you they would be very spontaneous and you guys like what you guys do together it's not going to be planned it's just going to be something that you guys do and along the way you guys are going to figure it out so that again in and of itself is just going to cause you to have such a big sexual fun erotic adventure with them and I think that that is really amazing and at the end of the day this is really going to be just such a new experience for you I I don't know if you've ever like been with somebody that is this like adventurous that is this crazy in the bedroom um that likes to do all these unique different things and so you're just going to feel like this is a new door that is opening that is unlocking for you and you're going to realize that maybe you like these things maybe you like doing these different things and not really having a plan and so yeah this is just going to be a new experience and it's really going to cause you to have a new perspective on like the more erotic side of things and yeah I just think that that's really cool to see I see you having fun with this person and yeah I, I really hope that you get to experience this with them because I really think that you would enjoy this so much so yes you guys that is what I'm seeing for you today I hope that you have enjoyed this reading and if you did then please make sure to give me a big old like and to subscribe to my channel because I post new videos every Monday and every Friday and I would love to have you stop by this side of TerraTube again sometime okay so I love you all so much and I hope that you have a fabulous rest of your day, friends. Mwah. Bye, guys.